example or two and describe what it feels like for you when you get that communication. Because I think that sometimes the gap just to understand, you know, I know it's a really hard thing to describe, but. No, no. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're just thinking like, so So say I'm, I'm connecting with, you know, say my cat Ziggy right now and I'm relaying it to you. You know, Ziggy's saying to me, you know, can you hurry up? I really want some food. I'm bored. Why are you on the screen so much? Because it's literally nagging me for the last five minutes. How does that, how do I experience that to know it? And how do I kind of pass that on? Is, is that yeah. what you yeah. mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because basically so, you're translating for us right now right when you put it into yeah. english I'm, language I'm, I'm translating as well as experiencing i like i like the description as experience yeah so sure, i'm yeah, aware right. i'm you're aware like to... sorry go on oh i was just saying you're translating to us but actually yes. you have an experience that you're yeah experience in your body so I, that's the thing that i was wondering if you could describe because you translate it so well but just like how it feels from Ziggy, for example. Okay. Thank so you. So I want to bring this into context. Uh, so my personal style, okay, is that um, I can work quite quickly. Yeah. Um, so when you listen to me deliver the information, it's it is kind of fast. It's kind of like quick. But then there are times when it's also slow. So I'm letting you know that because I tend to work quickly. And so if I was to slow myself right down and really kind of move into, say, a trance-like state, I actually then feel like I can't receive the communication. Um, so, yeah, the way it happens for me or my experience when I kind of unpack it, as I call it, is that I'm aware that there is. So it's almost like having two. Um, not two identities, but it's having two experiences at the same time. So I know I'm me and I'm talking to you. OK, but at the same time, I'm very aware of this impatience feeling in me. And somehow this hunger or this need to eat is also really prevalent. But it but it doesn't feel like me because it feels like, um, you know, I get like his claws, for example, really. So the sensation I'm getting at the same time is like a little bit of a scratch. He's not physically scratching me. So it comes quite fast and it comes almost like, I guess, in the package. So as I'm translating it to you, so I'm saying something like Ziggy's really impatient with me. Why is he saying, why am I staring at the screen? That is my translation. Yeah. But what I'm experiencing is a feeling of impatience, a hunger some kind of scratching kind of on my arm and um, yeah, a, a need to move on. Does that? Thank you. Oh, super helpful. So like basically you, you experience it through feeling your ongoing relationship with Ziggy. Um, like just trying to put it in your, in the language you had before, a kind of knowingness, but also almost a, like a feeling because you talked about the uh -huh. scratching and then emotion so feeling yeah. emotion and kind of a knowingness and then yeah. also your familiarity what is yeah. that okay and See, how I, I do you and the, and the way that i know is him because because the way that i'm describing it is like well it could be what i'm assuming because he's meowing away right. i could be right the reason i know is him is when you ask me that question judy I was able to connect in with the different intuitive senses of how the communication came to me. Could you so say that you, again? When you asked me, how does, how do you know Ziggy is communicating that to you? The reason that I know it's him is because I'm able to, let's call the word unpack the intuitive senses of how I've received all of those information in order to translate it, okay? So like I've given you, uh, I'm feeling hungry, I'm feeling impatient, I'm getting the sensation, you know, almost like all, but I'm able to unpack it. Does that resonate? Yeah. Super, yeah? So if helpful. you say to me, so say for example, this is, this is the kind of thing I do in my hot seats. 
And it really, really does help the clarity. So say you say to me, you know, I don't know if it's my dog, but, you know, he told me that um, he really doesn't like this walk that I take him to. But I'm just wondering whether it's because I've observed his body language and assumed that. he does. So what I do is I, I kind of spend time with you and I say, OK, tell me if you were to unpack it, how did that information come to you? And then we have to kind of it's not so much think it's connecting. So say sensation wise, I. I get that when I get the visual of him walking into the woods, I get a little nervous. Then you go, and then when my when I connect in with how he's walking in the woods, although he looks with my physical eye to be running and sniffing, I also feel like he's a little kind of reluctant with the way he shifts his paws or his legs or his feet. So when you are able to un pack how you're translating the information that is where your confidence i'm going to change the word confidence this is where the belief in what you receive is going to be the key to your confidence super super helpful